children or are they children? So I wanted to come on and talk about um, the breaking news about Omar. I know it's hard for y'all. I know it is. And what I want to say is don't get carried away in defending, believing in him, not believing in him, blaming the women, not blaming the women. Because this starts to pit people against each other. And we just don't need that. We've had enough division, y'all. Everybody does things wrong. Everybody's human. Everybody, you know. We have to be able to accept. We can't turn our head and look the other way. The people we love might do things wrong to us. It does happen to us. And so, I feel for y'all because I know how you feel. I lost 200 of my subscribers because I said I thought that he should resign, you know, just before it all comes out. Um, and I understood your anger, and, you, you know, you can do whatever you want. It, <laughs> that, that's up to you. But I know it's hard. It just seems like we can never get above over, further, that something else doesn't come up, that starts to divide us, that we start arguing again. So instead of concentrating on, did he do something wrong? Did he not do something wrong? Is he guilty? Is he, uh, uh, let, let's not do that, okay? Let's do this. Let's pray for Como and his family. Let's pray for them that they have healing and love and protection. Because to me, that's the most important thing. And let's pray for our healing as well. But we still have to be able to let the truth be known. We have to know. It doesn't matter. We have to let it be known. Also, I would also like to extend prayers out to the Capitol Police. Now, I want to extend prayers out to all of them because I feel like all of them are having trouble dealing with what happened. And it's so understandable. It, it's so understandable. I absolutely understand where they're coming from. So, and the police officers that took their own life by their own hand, well, they have no voice. So I think I'll just stand up and be their voice. And I will say this. They did their job. And they fought for the right thing. Please don't diminish what they did. We got so many people saying, you know, the officers that testified, oh, well, they're actors. And yeah, give them a, you know, an award. And making fun of this is not anything to be made fun of these people were tortured it was so hard for them y'all how can you make fun of them how can you say anything against them but this is what they dealt with so i would like to say a prayer for healing for them and for their family okay so father god in the universe we ask that you please put protection and healing around Como and his entire family. Put them at ease. Let the women who have testified and be brought to peace and be in love and light and be healed and helped. Because we can't say what did or did.
did not happen. So let's do that. Also, Father God in the universe, we ask that you put love, loving light, protection and healing over the entire, the entire Capitol Police. Help them deal with what they've been through so that we don't lose another one by their own hand. And we are so grateful for them. And finally, Father God, I ask you this. Bring us together so we can stop fighting and stop the... It just seems like it's one thing after another and we're fighting, no, this person didn't do that. No, they're not guilty. Well, they did their... God, help us. This is not what's important. We know we need to see the truth, and we will. We know that. Give us the ability to see that truth without anger, without hate, without malice. We ask this prayer in Jesus. Okay, listen, friends, I know it's hard, but we're going to get through this too. And if I've made you mad, I'm sorry. Not my intent. I just want to pray with you for the next.